Next has been really good at blurring the lines between client-side code and server-side code. And I see a lot of issues arising over and over again that basically come down to the same thing, that developers are accidentally importing their server-side code into code that is running in the client, in the browser. So I wanna go over a couple of common scenarios that I see and give you a little bit of advice on how to avoid falling into these types of traps. So I have an error message on my screen right now that is telling me I don't have an environment variable being passed into my database adapter. But if I were to go and check in my environment variables, I can see I have a database URL and for some reason it's just not being picked up. This error message kind of sucks because really what's happening is I have imported some client side code somewhere in this application and my browser doesn't have access to that environment variable. So what's happened here is that I have a client component that's being imported into page. So I have a client and a server component. And then in my client component, I've imported a server component. And if I check this file, I don't have use client at the top here. So it's common to think that this is still a server component and then I can run database queries directly from this component. But the thing is, anytime I import a component or a file into a client component, that immediately becomes code that will run in the browser. So by rendering the server component here, I am trying to query the database from the browser. So this just isn't allowed. Don't import server components into client components. The way I would get around this is I can delete this from the client component. I can still render this in the client component, but what I have to do is allow it to be passed in as just a normal React component, which we'll usually do using children React node. So if I just render whatever the children are of this client component, so I'll do that right here, then in my page, I can just pass this in as a child of the client component. So I'll wrap it like this. So this is completely valid. Server component will still run on the server only. I'll still be able to do the database query, but I'm rendering it inside of the child component using children. So that should get rid of that message there and I can now render this server component, that's no problem. So the next thing I'm gonna do is inside my client component here, I want to click on this button. I have a button right here that's to create a new thing in my database. And when I click that button, I'm gonna run a server action. So I'm gonna import, I think I've called it create thing from my server actions file, which is over here. So because this is a server action, I can just call this directly here. So I will await create thing. It accepts a name property. I'll show you right here. It's accepting a name uh, and then it will just try and insert that thing into the database. So that's good. I'm gonna save this file. And if I go back to the client, I haven't even run this code yet inside of the function, but I'm getting that exact same error message because I haven't marked this server action as use server at the top here. And I should know better, I should know to put use server at the top of this file, but it's this error message that is just so misleading. And I've sometimes seen people just copy and paste their database URL straight into the file where it's being used because they can't figure out why Next.js is telling them that it can't find the environment variable. If we head over to the Next.js docs, there is a section here that tells us we can use this library called server only. So if we go and install this into our project, fun add install server only, any file that we know is only ever supposed to run on the server. So for example, a file that connects to the database, we can just import this in the top. So import server only, that's all we have to do. Not module, just server only. And then if I go back to the browser, the error message is still there because I'm still trying to import server code, but it's maybe a little bit more clear what's going on. It's saying I'm importing a component that needs server only. It's still not an amazing error message, but it's better than saying this environment variable doesn't exist. Because at least in this case, I'm gonna think, okay, I probably imported server code into my client code, rather than thinking I'm missing an environment variable in my environment variables file. So if we go back, we can solve this problem by going into server actions and marking this as use server, which should make my application run now. So I should be able to create things in the back end and they should load from the database too down here. I'm not getting any errors that appears to be working. My database connection should be working. I'm pretty sure this just came from the database. Ultimately, you do have to try and get past the confusion of 
where the server is and where the client is in an XJS application. But at least by using a library like server only, the error messages can kind of be a little bit better. Now I'm gonna make things a little worse and I am gonna switch from using Neon to using Terso, which is libsql under the hood. And I'll have to update my schema too. So I have the exact same application, but I've written it once to work with a Postgres database and once to work with a SQLite database. I'm just gonna rerun this. And then back in the browser, everything seems to be working. So if I try and create a thing, I get this new error message. Let's see if I scroll to the top, failed to load resource, the server responded, blah, blah, blah. Syntax error, unexpected identifier, Webpack async dependencies. And I just have no idea what is going on here, why I'm getting this error message. And it's really frustrating to try and debug this. And I still am not sure exactly what the issue is here, but I do know what the solution to this is. If we go back into my client component, I'm importing this server action into the client component and I can call it down here. And this is supposed to be fine to do, but occasionally, and actually quite a lot of the time, this causes problems like the one we're seeing right now. And the solution is to not import the server action into the client component. Instead, if you always take that out of the client component and move it up to the parent server component, so I'm gonna import that in here instead, and then the client component can accept that as a prop. So instead of importing create thing, we're gonna allow that to be passed in. And in fact, I can still import the type. So type create thing from my server action because I was exporting both the function and the type. The type's fine, I just can't import this. So I can keep that in here. I need to type it here, create thing, create thing. And I'm realizing that I messed up that type. It's not the return type, it's just straight up the type of the function, okay? So now in my page, I've imported that and now I can pass that down to my client component just like this. So usually you can't pass a function from a server component to a client component because there is this web boundary where you can really only pass JSON serializable things. But since this is a server action, this is absolutely fine. And this should solve my problem. So now if I click create a thing and I'll remove all the errors there, this doesn't cause any errors. This is calling my server action. And actually I'll console log in here to make sure that this is working correctly. Sure, I'll just console log thing, thing. So if I click this button, come on, reload. There we go. Uh, I should in my server see that I am creating a new thing. That's absolutely fine. So that is all working. And the Next.js docs do kind of mention this a little bit. It just says props. In some cases, you might want to pass down a server action to a client component as a prop, but it doesn't really go into any detail about some of the issues that arise when you don't do this. And there's been a few libraries that force you to do this because of the way cookies are handled in a server component versus a client component. And it's still very confusing. If you publish an application using open next instead of Vercel, you also need to put it in a server component. Next has made some things really easy, but some things really confusing. And it really sucks when you spend a ton of time debugging something that just has no clear way of being solved. So hopefully this is a little bit helpful, gives you a little bit of insight in how to avoid some of these issues. But if you have any other solutions to problems like these, please leave a comment, let me know what they are. If you found other weird bugs that you couldn't solve, also just leave a comment and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next videos.